So I wanted to talk about that time I got reincarnated as a slime season three and maybe a little bit of seasons one and two in the video, but mostly just focusing on season three because with the episodes coming out, we are past the, what I like to call the table talk. And to be very clear here, when I do my reviews, I like to balance up the positives and the negatives. I like to try and be as balanced as possible. Of course, being balanced is very difficult if you generally like a series or you may have a general dislike towards something for your own personal taste. And again, everyone's taste is very different. But again, opinions can be swayed based on your own personal preferences. But I always try to balance things out of having a little bit of positive and a little bit of negative and just kind of wane it up with those kinds of things. But with Slime, I've recently spoken about the episodes, particularly with this season and past seasons as well, and spoken about some of the things that I really enjoy and some of the things that I myself have not been the biggest fan of. And most of that comes down to things like recapping. I do not like recapping in any capacity other than, and there's always exceptions to a rule, other than if it's used for contextual reasons, which Slime does do in many cases, but Slime also does have a tendency where it will do like massive like recap dumps kind of to help the audience remember what's happened in the past and I'm just not a big fan of it. My mindset is go rewatch those episodes. That's kind of how I see it. And I see a lot of people in the comments they're like, "Oh, well why don't you criticize other animes like Black Clover?" And I'm like, "I have for years, I've complained about One Piece, Black Clover, all those types of animals. Even Fairy Tale does it all the time. Where and I love Fairy Tale, by the way. I love it. I cosplayed as Jalal, for, just as a fun fact. But I do not see the point in recaps. It's like go rewatch it. And I understand, like maybe like having like little what I would call like in between OVA episodes that are kind of like recaps, like stop points, but not having them as part of the core aspect of the story. But Slime is a great series. I've read the light novels. I love the light novels. I love the way that when you read something, you can really explore the world with your own imagination. I've spoken about this in one video and another video that will be coming out, which is a light novel review on one of the volumes that I haven't reviewed yet, and how the mind has the ability to imagine things far more vividly than what any anime can p potentially show. There's no hate on the anime, it's just our minds can be very crazy with its imagination. But I do think the anime has done an absolutely amazing job at some of these fight scenes. I do think that's where a lot of the budget goes, let's be honest here. Let's not gaslight each other on this. Let's not be on copium here. We, we can all admit, can't we, that a lot of budget's gone into those fight scenes and absolutely worth it. They're absolute phenomenal. Mwah! Love them. But one of the complaints that I've seen, and funny enough, this is actually going to be really funny because a lot of people think that I hate slime because of the last five, five to six episodes where I've, you know, talked about the table episodes. But in the recent episodes, some people have been complaining that the pacing, especially in these last two episodes, is bad. I actually don't think the pacing is actually bad. I think it makes sense why they showed the fight from one perspective and then they showed Diablo's perspective so that the story kind of aligns it's like two lines coming together so it's like episodes like you know the last episode the last week's and this week's episode are two lines and they're kind of merging together for the next episode so that you understand the timelines it's better than doing that than trying to continue the story get halfway through it and then backpedal like four episodes back just to explain Diablo and his point of view no 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 let's just do that the next episode have them both be done one after another and then continue from that point onwards I think the pacing from that makes sense so for those criticizing that I disagree agree I think the pacing on that is perfectly fine and it's necessary to make sure things flow correctly so that you understand what's happening you can use an example of season one season one did skip through a lot of the I wouldn't say so much world building but there was a lot of political kind of stuff a lot of little bits and pieces missing and it wasn't like it was grand speaking to the ends of the world but it kind of needed to be there kind of did you could have skipped it but i feel like it would have done harm to the overarching story so season two had to backpedal to rectify that and that's where you can feel the pacing feels weird which is understandable because in season two they had to now again noting that the pacing feels weird because of it and understanding that they had to do it are two different things because they really did need to go back and rectify that problem but that's why i also do believe that season one was meant to be just a source material seller and that they weren't really intending on doing a second season 
and then when they were like, oh, this is really popular, and then did a season two, they then went, oh, we need to backpedal, rectify that problem, and then season three has, with season two, making sure that it's stuck to as close to the source material as possible, made sure that season three could then flow correctly and not feel janky. But you've also got to understand that some people aren't that big on table episodes. I get it, world building. I've read the light novels. I don't need to hear the same story. But I also do think belittling anime only fans doesn't help the case either. But one of the ways that I worded it, and I'm not sure if I said it in my last videos, but I'll say it again if I haven't. But if I have, well, I'm saying it again. So the issue I think a lot of people have with the table episodes, I don't have a problem so much with them, except the recapping stuff is I think people feel like it feels like a visual novel. They're kind of just sitting there with a simple still shot background with a little bit of animation changes and just people just talking, 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 and they feel like all they're doing is reading text and not really seeing much of the visual spectacles of the world. And so they feel like it's a visual novel and they're like, why not just read the light novels or why not read the mangas? While when you're reading a light novel, you can kind of imagine a lot of those things. As I gave an example in one of my other videos, is imagine if they were explaining uh, Veldera going on a rampage. In the anime, they might just say that and, ve and they'll just show Veldera sitting there reading a manga, but in your mind, you're imagining him going on a rampage. So your mind is filling in that gap of the idea of him rampaging for a forest or a town or a city or whatnot. And so your mind can be a lot more visual expressiveness, or visually expressive, trying to word myself here, I am partially dyslexic, in that sense. But it's understandable. Again, I understand both perspectives, the positives and the negatives. Me, myself, or me, myself, and I, my three dual identities that I've now just admitted in public, I'm just kidding, but I've enjoyed a lot of that, especially when you get to cool stuff, like when they're talking about things and then they're like, oh, look at this cool little contraption we built out on the road, on the highway, and we've got like these little things across the side, the water fountains, the little pit stops, and these little mana crystals that kind of do these things, and I know someone's going to be like, well, actually, this is how exactly works. You get what I mean. It's the fun stuff like that that I really love, where they show you these things while also explaining the world. I think maybe if those episodes had a little bit more visual stuff going on, maybe the complaints would have been not so heavy. You look at ep uh, Season 2, uh, Core 2, a lot of people didn't like the table talking in the garden because it was all the same background, everyone talking, and a lot of recapping. And I think people just wanted to see the world. That's the thing. Like A lot of, a lot, a lot of light novel fans say it's world-building, world-building, world-building. But I think you've also got to understand that a lot of anime fans want to see the world, not just read about the world in the anime. If it's in a light novel, then the brain can fill in the rest. But when you're watching an anime, you want to see it. Show these visual spectacles. Which is why I think like series like Feiren or Freiren, however you want to pronounce it, and Mashuku Tensei, they do a lot of showing as well as telling. And I think that's maybe something Slime could have done a little bit better. Just a little bit. But I still really love Slime, because there is some really good spectacles that they do show. Like, some of those cities and towns look really amazing. Some of the backdrops are really awesome. So, Slime does, and can, does really good artistic background drops when they need to. But sometimes they also don't do it. And I think that's the balance that we need to understand, is that, you know, anime fans want to see things. Because at the end of the day, if they're not seeing things, they might as well just go read the manga or the light novels, which is understandable. Again, I'm just trying to weigh up both sides of the perspective, but with the recent episodes of Diablo, I do think the pacing is fine. I love Diablo though, so maybe I'm just fanboying over Diablo a little bit. I love his voice acting, the Japanese, and the, like, the, the statistic laugh, and the memes as well about Diablo, kind of like how people picture Rimuru being this like dark sorcerer with all this magical power, like a dark lord, and then Diablo is just kind of like seeing Rimuru as like a messiah, or like a like the next coming of Jesus, like, oh my god, he's saving the world, he's, he's too, it's like, I love those memes, I love the way Diablo sees the world, and the way he sees Rimuru, and the butler kind of feel to it, it's just, oh, I love it, and also I love the name as well, because I am a big fan of Diablo series, I know, D4 bad, <laughs> but I, I love the name, I love the old school sort of Diablo style, and it just kind of makes me kind of gush over that kind of connection, I feel like that's kind of a bit of a reference there, so, 
I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What have you been thinking about the recent episodes? Again, I've been enjoying the pacing with these last two episodes. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play these future parts out because there's some big, amazing scenes that are going to be playing out. And I understand some people complained about how this episode ended pretty much on the same note as the last episode, but it also adds a little bit extra with certain people rocking up and being like, hey, we're here to punish her and Rimuru giving that real evil look. So it didn't quite end on that exact note, but it gave a little bit extra to tease you for the next episode, which I think was smart. I think they did it perfectly. I think they're just giving that that little bit of taste, ready for the next episode, because the next episode is gonna be where things do definitely pick up. And I love how they're going about the teasing, but I also do love the balance of showing each of the characters and how powerful they are, the interactions they have with the others. And I think it's important that those are there. I understand a lot of people just wanna see Rimuru, 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 but seeing the other characters like Diablo and our Master Chef herself and all the other major characters are important because they are part of the world, they are part of the story, and they all play an intricate role in helping protect the thing that Rumuru has built up along with their help. So they're all part of the story, it all makes sense. Looking forward to more slime. Definitely will be putting out more light novel reviews. I've got to continue reading through the light novels, getting up to date on that. So we'll be slowly plugging away at that. So if you want that kind of content as well, definitely stay tuned for my analysis, reviews, topics, and light novel reviews on the channel on all things anime. So if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.